Consider the earth to be a uniform sphere of radius r, radius r and mass m. Let there be a point P, this distance is equal to radius of the earth. Let there is a point P outside the surface of the earth and its distance from the distance from the center of the earth be let's call that as x the distance of the point p from the center of the earth be x we have that point p here okay now let's there there be another point q very close to p at a distance dx from the p q and there is infinity which means at a large distance from the surface of the earth so let us consider all these points let's mark it using a red using this red ink this is the point p this is the point Q. Let's call this one as O. Clear. Now, if you place a mass M at the point P, the gravitational force of attraction of Earth on this mass M is equal to, we have gravitational force F P is equal to G mass of the Earth divided by the mass placed in, into mass placed divided by the distance square. Distance is OP that is X square. Now using this force if we move this mass through the distance PQ that is through the distance DX then the work done then work done DW work done DW is equal to we have force into displacement, force into displacement. That is equal to force is equal to G M M by X square into DX. Since using this force, this gravitational force acting in this direction, we just moved the mass from P to Q. So the work done is equal to F, F DX, that is G M M by X square DX. Now, in order to move the particle from the surface of the earth to a dis to an infinite distance we have to integrate this work so total work done total work done w that total work done means the work done to move this particle or this mass from the surface of the earth to infinity is equal to you have to put the integral limit of the integral from the surface radius of the earth to infinity because x varies from 0 to infinity we are actually moving it from surface of the earth to infinity so integral r to infinity g m m by x square dx we know all these g m m are constants so you so that you can take that outside g m m integral r to infinity x square we move to the up and it will become x raised to minus 2 dx so this is equal to this is equal to work done w is equal to g m m you know integral of x raised to minus 2 is equal to x raised to minus 1 by minus 1 integral r to infinity that is x raised to minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 equal to minus 1 and minus 2 plus 1 again minus 1 you can take this minus to the left so it is equal to minus g m m divide into x raised to minus 1 is equal to 1 by x within the limit r to infinity first you have to substitute the upper limit that is g m m into 1 by infinity minus 1 by r that is the lower limit so this will be
this is equal to minus g m m into 1 by infinity 0 0 minus 1 by r so you will get the total work w as g g sorry g m m divided by r so this is the total work done now in order to escape from the gravitational field of earth we have to project something with a velocity v. Let's call that as ve, that which means the escape velocity. So this velocity is such that the body must escape from the gravitational field of Earth, or it will move from the distance of r to infinity. So definitely, with the velocity of a mass, the body have kinetic energy. So we have the kinetic energy kinetic energy of our projection kinetic energy with which the mass is projected must be equal to the work done since this work has to be done to move a particle from r to infinity from this point from the surface of the earth to infinity so that must be our kinetic energy applied kinetic energy implies you know the expression for kinetic energy is equal to half mass of the body into velocity square is equal to work done is equal to g m m divided by r can cancel this mass and this mass so v e square is equal to 2 g m divided by r that is escape velocity ve is equal to root of 2 g m divided by r this is the expression for escape velocity where ve is the escape velocity escape velocity also this there is an alternate form for the escape velocity you know we have v e is equal to before that we have g is equal to we have gravity gravity the expression for gravity is equal to g m divided by r square so in the relation here to g m divided by r just multiply the numerator and denominator with the radius of the earth so this is equal to root of 2 2 g m by r square g m by r square into r but this term is the gravity so escape velocity is equal to root of 2 g r this is just another expression for escape velocity if you know the gravity and radius of the earth also you know 2 times 2 times r will be the diameter of the earth that is this this length is the diameter of the earth so to instead of 2r you can write d so it will also be escape velocity is equal to root of gd so these are all the expressions for escape velocity now we have escape velocity v equal to root of 2gr but you know the uh, value of gravity at the surface of the earth is 9.8 and the radius of the earth is equal to 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 meter it's actually radius is equal to 6000 approximately 6400 kilometer which is equal to 6400 6, into 1000 meter or 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 meter on solving this you will get 
it is equal to 11.2 kilometer per second which means a body must be projected with a velocity of 11.2 kilometer per second in order to escape from the surface of the earth 